Okay, so uh, continuing where we left off, uh, the uh, red curve is showing us the component of the variation in December state college temperatures that can be explained by El Nino. Um, if uh, in, in, a, in a particularly strong El Nino year where the Nino 3.4 index is, say, as large as plus 2, um, uh, we get a December temperature that's about a degree and a half uh, Fahrenheit above average. That is to say, twice that 0.74 degrees effect that we get for a one unit change in Nino 3.4. Um, for a particularly strong La Nina event, uh, which would correspond to a, a negative Nino 3.4 anomaly of, say, negative two or so, uh, we would get a one and a half degree Fahrenheit cooling uh, effect um, on State College December temperatures. Um, so the influence of El Nino um, is small compared to the overall variability in the series, uh, but it is statistically significant, at least um, if we are able to um, uh, motivate a one-sided hypothesis test, if we had reason a priori to believe that El Nino events warm state college temperatures in the winter, uh, then the regression uh, gives us uh, a result that's significant at uh, the 0.05 level, um, the standard threshold for statistical significance. Okay, so it may not be that satisfying. We're not explaining a large amount of variation in the data, uh, but uh, we do appear to be explaining a statistically significant um, fraction of variability in the data. Now, uh, finally, uh, let's look at the uh, trend, uh, uh, sorry, let's look at the um, uh, residuals from that uh, regression. And what I'll do is uh, I will uh, get rid of these graphs that we have right now. And I'm just going to plot the model residuals um, as a function of time. Uh, that's what they look like. Um, there isn't a whole lot of obvious structure, and in fact, if we go back to the regression model tab and we look at uh, the value of the lag1 autocorrelation coefficient, we see that it's minus 0.09. That's quite, it's slightly negative, it's quite small, uh, close to zero. Um, if we look up the statistical significance, um, it's not going to be even remotely significant. So we don't have to worry about uh, autocorrelation. Uh, influencing our estimate of statistical significance. Um, we also don't have uh, much evidence here of, um, of uh, the sort of uh, low frequency structure in the residuals that might cause us worry. Um, so the nominal results of our uh, regression analysis uh, appear uh, valid. Uh, and again, if we were to invoke a one-sided hypothesis test, we would have found a statistically significant, albeit a weak, uh, influence of El Nino on State College December temperatures.